Let's talk a little bit about profitability and really what it means. So you might think that profitability is your revenue, less expenses equals profit. However, there is more to it and there's more of a nuance to profitability and good profitability versus bad profitability. It's not all just the same. And that's what a lot of people don't know. They just think, you know, as long as I'm making money, I'm you know working like a dog, it's good, it's a good sign. And really, that's not such the case. And that's that's where this gets really interesting. So let's look at the screen here. And let's talk about what the definition is, and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. So first, understanding profitability is crucial for small business owners because it indicates the efficiency to which a business operates and generates profits relative to its size. And this encompasses, like we talked about, revenue and expenses. So if we're talking about what is profitability, that is the ability to make an income beyond the cost of goods or time. That's general. However, it's not just about making sales. It's about what remains after you cover all your expenses. High, profit, high, uh, high profitability means your business is doing well financially, whereas low profitability suggests there's room for improvement. If your margins are 1% to 5%, that's not a good range to be in. But if they're 10, 20, 30, 40, that's a sweet range to be in, and you get more value out of the time and energy you're putting into your organization. So what's this? what this means is that profitability extends beyond the bottom line. While many equate business success with high revenue, true profitability goes beyond simply generating income. It's about the efficiency with which you convert revenue into net profit, the lifeblood of your business. And we know that. Profitability ensures your company has the financial resources to stay afloat, invest in growth, and reward your efforts. So that's something to think about. You might be thinking, yeah, I'm paying myself each month. We're barely breaking even. Is this good enough? Can I do better? Should I do better? What does good look like? And that's where we start to have a lot of the really interesting questions uh, come out of this. And then in the same light, when we talk about profitability, it also does us pretty well to talk about cash flow. There's a difference there and they're tied together and you have to understand that relationship. So let me go back to the slide here. So it's important to distinguish between profit and cash flow because profit represents the income that remains after deducting all expenses from your revenue over a specific period. Okay. Cash flow, on the other hand, focuses on the actual movement of cash in and out of your business at a particular time. While they're interrelated, they're not the same thing. It's possible to be profitable, but have temporary cash flow constraints. And as the saying goes, I'm sure you've heard of it, cash is king. You can have a profitable business, but if the cash isn't converting, you can have a payroll come up and not be able to make that payroll. All of a sudden, you know, your business has to close. That's horrible, and but it's a reality that small business owners face. So that's why it's so important to understand cash flow. And we're definitely going to spend more time on that later. Same thing with margins. It's more important than just having a lot of revenue than to have good revenue. So many new business owners prioritize having high revenue figures. You know, these are what we see in the headlines. This is what's all exciting, but it's not all, you know, rainbows and unicorns. Focusing solely on high revenue can be misleading. Your profit margin tells a true story of your financial efficiency. Profit margin is a percentage metric that indicates how much profit you generate from each sales dollar. So that'd be like 40% would be a profit margin. Focusing on healthy profit margins ensures your business remains profitable, even with fluctuations in revenue, which is absolutely critical. So you want good revenue, you want a good profit margin, and you want the ability to convert all of that into cash. So how do you track these types of important metrics, such as cash flow and margin, and the right type of revenue and profit? Well, what you want to do is focus on what are known as KPIs, or Key Performance Indicators for Profitability. So what these are, they're typically uh, equations or formulas that come down to a percentage or some, yeah, typically a percentage that show target versus actual of where you are versus where you want to be. So you'll have a gross profit margin. That might be something that says, hey, I want to be at 30%, but I'm at 20% now. And that calculates automatically um, because of the way you have things set up, ideally. Uh, same thing with net profit margin, return on investment. 
These are formulas that you determine ahead of time. You say, these things are important to me. And typically what you do is you create a dashboard that'll display all these. So at any point in time throughout a week, a month, a day sometimes, you can understand how your business is doing. And then if things are off, you can understand, okay, this isn't right. It's like having a dashboard on your car. If you have lights flashing on and off that says check engine, boy, you want to pull over and see what's going on. You don't want to keep driving. It's the same exact concept. So you want a dashboard for your business. A common trap, though, that small business owners fall into is that they get it, right? They'll have KPIs, they'll have a dashboard, but they don't know what to do with it. And that's where you need to understand profitability and what all these things mean, how they all tie together and what you're going to do with them. So a few tips here that are going to help you are the following. So to really harness the power of these metrics and improve your profitability, you want to set realistic financial goals. So we talked about setting targets or finding similar benchmarks to similar types of organizations, but you've got to understand what's achievable compared to where you're at now to really have an impact and you know put things into perspective. Second, you want to use this stuff to kind of make decisions, not kind of, to make decisions. And yeah, it's great to have all this information, but sometimes there's information overload. So you want to figure out what KPIs are super important and then that you're actually using these versus your gut instinct to make decisions uh, as far as your organization goes. And third, you wanna identify areas for opportunity. And like I said, we're gonna have a dashboard, things are gonna be green for good, yellow for warning, red for bad. And that's where you want to actually analyze this, see what's not working, and then talk with your team. <clears throat> Sorry, you wanna talk with your team and figure out how do we make things better? What changes need to happen? You know, who, who needs to do what and by when? Those are the conversations you have. And what happens is if you understand profitability and you have the right tools and processes in place, you can really set your company up not just for short term, but also long term success. And from the slide here, profitability is not just an accounting measure, which we know. It's a strategic tool for navigating the journey of small business ownership. When you prioritize profitability and you leverage financial insights, not just numbers on a dashboard, you can make sound decisions that propel your business forward through long-term success and economic stability. Remember, a profitable business is one that's resilient and well-equipped to weather challenges, not just today, but tomorrow, next week, next year, and to infinity if you like.